Somebody help me! No, no, no! Ah! Uh. Huh? What is this? Flynn? Oh, hey, you're back from Dreamland. What do you want from me, Flynn? Why did you kidnap me? Hey, it's not like I'm gonna do anything bad to you. I just need the power from the energy orb to operate this machine. And I know Spider-Man has it. So? So, of course, he's gonna give me that orb in order to get you back safely. Trust me, he'll do anything for you. Even die. It was just another ordinary day at the Garden of Bam Bam. Until... This energy orb is mine! Stop right there, Twisted! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> gotcha! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Who are you to escape my trap? Hey, Spider Man, I know I don't have any superpowers. But I can invent anything you need to help you on your missions. Flying, jumping across buildings, laser eyes, whatever stupid powers you ask, I can handle. So what do you say, Spider-Man? With me as your sidekick, we'll make a dynamic duo that'll go down in history as the wackiest heroes around. Fly home, buddy. I work alone. Plus, I'm pretty sure my webs are cooler than any stupid gadget you could come up with. Huh? Am I that useless? <laughs> huh, danger! Spider Man flung a web at my jet. He pulled so hard that I lost my balance. I was seeing stars, you know, and the next thing I knew, he was showing off his superpowers like he's the next Avenger. Like, we teamed up, and he took all the credit. Like, the faith in my idol was shattered. But then I had an idea. I could be better than him. I was completely obsessed with making tentacles. I spent more time on them than I did playing video games than watching Octopus videos. And finally, I did it. And why did I make my new creation, you ask? Uh, to see Spider-Man again? Yeah, no! I used the tentacles to build a radioactive machine. I just stared at it. The light was so bright and beautiful. I couldn't resist the temptation to absorb it all and become the ultimate ruler of the Garden of Spider-Man. But suddenly the machine shut down. And then the control panel showed the worst thing possible, energy orb missing. I mean, where do you even find an energy orb these days? Life is hard for a villain, my girl. Then I saw the solution staring me in the face. If Spider-Man doesn't bring me the power orb, you're dead. Let go of her, Flynn. I brought what you wanted. A wise choice. Don't do it. I'm not worth it. Here, catch. Yes, the radioactive machine is finally complete. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Stop, Flynn, before it's too late. Right. Ah, look at my superpower. And that light is so beautiful! Not so Let fast! Let me go! <laughs> when will you realize that I'm better than you? Say it! Ah! 
Just say it. Huh? What's happening? Like Flynn is in another dimension. <sighs> hmm? I'm pretty, by the way. But how? Shh! Dude, tone it down! This is an abandoned kindergarten. Home to giant birds that eat human flesh. But how did you even end up here? Oh, well... My friend Jumbo and I were on a bird hunt. And we caught sight of a strange pink bird. So, when it ran into this place, we followed right after. It looked dark inside, and suddenly there was a hole or something, and we fell down there. And then I woke up and I was here, dressed like this. Hmm, to be fair, you do look gorgeous. No, it's weird. Why did you do this to me? Come on, it's for yours. Quick, hide! Who are you talking to? Girl, no one! You scared me! Hmm, I thought I heard something. Anyway, I just caught an intruder, a big green gorilla. Lord, it's disgusting. But I want to save that fuzzy creature for dinner. <laughs> great! Gorillas make great dishes! Just here to let you know. Make sure you save room for dinner, okay? Okay! Bye, girl! God, that green gorilla is Jumbo! I know! Wait, what is that pinkish scary bird? Is that the flesh-eating one that you were talking about? Yeah, that's Opula. She's kind of the boss here. Back then, this place belonged to me and my two scientist friends. The three of us created this bird from a woman's brain cells. But what we didn't know was that the woman used to be abused by her husband. That's brutal. Yes. That's the origin of Opula's aggressive nature. The worst part is that she ate my two friends right after being released. Ah! Lord, but how did you survive? Stupid, she only eats men. That's why I dressed you up like a woman. Oh. <gasps> oh, that. <sighs> how do you know if a man is stupid? How? His lips move. Oh, you're so mean! That's Opula's favorite joke. I gotta admit, she just gets men. But my friend Jumbo, how am I gonna save him? It'll be tough. But don't worry, I'll help you. First, you need to find some anesthetic. How about me? You need any help? Well, maybe put on some more lipstick. Gather some more girl power, you know? I've got refreshments! Hmm. 
Jumbo! <laughs> bad, bad. Where were you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Thank you. You look pretty, by the way. Oh, shut up. Okay, boys. Save the hugging, crying stuff for later. Get your butts moving. Opila! All right, guys. Listen. Run to the end of the hall and turn left. You'll see a door. Then use this yellow card to get in. But wait, how do we get past her? I'll take care of that. Now, one, two, three! Hiya! Run! Why did you betray me? Because you are my biggest mistake, Opila! And now it's my responsibility to fix it! And you believe in them? Those two gorillas? More than you, of course! Why are men like commercials? Why? Because you can't trust a word they say. My slingshot! Opila! I can't believe we made it out! Yeah, lesson learned. Don't ever mess with girls. You don't know how angry she can get. Oh, that means I shouldn't mess with you, right? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a sec, guys. One last thing. <laughs> <laughs>